Welcome to a Halloween edition of Baking with Chickens. I'm Christina and today I'm going to make meringue ghosts. Funny thing about this ghost over here, I went down to the grocery store to get sugar for this episode and they were having a festival and there were people doing face painting so how could I resist? Today, making little meringue ghosts. So I'm making these Halloween cookies for some special trick-or-treaters who are going to stop by later today. Stick around, um, they're gonna come and they're gonna go trick-or-treating and you'll get to see who they are. I think you might know who they are, but stay tuned. <laughs> for these cookies, I'm gonna make two versions of this recipe. I'm gonna do one of them with egg whites and the other one with vegan aquafaba. The egg whites are egg protein and that's typically what meringue is made from, but there's this awesome ingredient called aquafaba, which is Latin for bean water, and you take the starchy water that's left over after you drain out your beans, and this can be whipped up and used exactly as egg whites. So I'll show you both versions and you can see them side by side and what the differences in the texture and the process would be. To get the recipe, go to my blog at bakingwithchickens.com. Also, as you're liking this video right here, make sure you also tap that little uh, Baking With Chickens logo in the corner here to subscribe. Tap to subscribe because that helps me get more people to watch this channel and you'll get notified of every new Baking With Chickens episode that comes on. For this egg white version of this recipe, I'm gonna use three egg whites that I've already separated from three eggs. Egg whites are really cool. Um, they are basically that white part when you crack the egg and it's kind of like viscous and weird and slimy, but it's made of 90% water and 10% protein. So I'm gonna pour in my egg white with cream of tartare and salt. I'm gonna whip it up to get foamy before we add the sugar. When you whip egg whites, it gets like white and fluffy. It's kind of magical. It takes these proteins, which are different amino acids within the egg, and whips it up and gets air between all of the molecules. And then when you add sugar and your cream of tartare, that's going to act like a stabilizer, like kind of like a glue that holds all of those bubbles suspended together. And then when you bake it and you take all of that 90% of water out, what you're left with is the protein structure of your egg and your sugar bonded to it and that turns into your meringue cookies. Don't want to overbeat your egg whites. If you overbeat them and they start to look like chunky cottage cheese, um, that's overbeaten. You can fix this by adding another egg white to it and then it'll kind of re-liquify and then you whip it up again. But I'm going to give mine a little bit more time. These are glossy stiff peaks. So I piped my meringue into my piping bag and then I'm gonna pipe some little ghosts. So here they are, my little ghoulish creatures ready to go into the oven. So I'm gonna put the meringues into the oven at 225 degrees for one hour. And then, this is really important, so the key to meringue is slow cooling. So after that one hour, you're gonna turn off the oven and don't open it. Leave that door closed. So leave them in there for about two more hours, two to three more hours, um, while the temperature goes down to allow them to cool slowly so that prevents it from cracking. Does that make sense? Does anybody know I dream of genie or should I snap? <laughs> For my vegan meringue ghosts, I'm gonna use aquafaba instead of egg whites. So aquafaba is the starchy water from bean water. So garbanzo beans are a popular one. If you're making something with chocolate, you could do um, the bean water from black beans. We're gonna check this out. I'm gonna pour it in, make a second set of meringues using my aquafaba so that you can see the difference between the two. So in one cup. All right, so you see this aquafaba. You can see it's got this yellowy color. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's a little viscousy, not as much as an egg white, but like it's kind of got like that sliminess to it. So aquafaba is a vegan alternative to egg whites. Why would I not use eggs in a recipe if this is a baking with chickens blog? Well, the answer is, you know, hey, Sometimes I don't always wanna eat eggs. Vegan recipes are really cool. It's a great alternative to try. If I didn't have eggs, this would be a great substitution. So typically in the spring, summer, the chickens are in full egg production and they lay about one egg a day. 
but if they're molting, if they're sick, if something goes wrong, or if it's in the winter, they slow down the production. So right now, Lady Olga Berry is molting, which is basically they lose their feathers and they regrow new ones. So their feathers come in prettier and nicer than ever, but in that in-between phase of losing and growing feathers, they look like crap. When they're molting, it requires a lot of protein from the chicken's bodies. And protein is what eggs are made of. So they need all of that protein in order to grow feathers. So that's why when chickens are molting, they don't lay any eggs. Hence, the vegan recipes that come in handy. Okay, I'm gonna add the aquafaba into the KitchenAid bowl along with my cream of tartar and salt. Ooh, something I totally forgot to mention. So when you're going to the grocery store to buy your can of garbanzo beans, make sure you get the ones that say no salt added. You want the unsalted ones if you want a clean meringue flavor. So I only had for this recipe a salted one. I'm gonna do a maple flavor for the vegan version. So I'm thinking maybe like that maple and salty will play nicely together. Let's check on the texture. It's pretty good, it's at stiff peaks. Might be able to do a little bit more. It's kind of flopping a little. But look, it looks almost exactly like egg whites, doesn't it? Isn't this crazy? So I was wondering, as I was whipping, if you can over whip aquafaba. So I Googled it and it says, yes, you can, just like egg whites or cream. Check it out. This is bean water. It's like magic. How does it do this? So now I'm gonna pipe my little ghosts. my vegan meringue ghosts. I'm gonna put them into the oven at 200 degrees for about an hour and a half to two hours. A little less if you want them less chewy, longer if you want them a little crisper. And we're back with the egg white version of our meringue cookies. Look at how cute they are, little dancing ghosts. Um, so now I'm going to pipe little eyes and faces on each of them. Taste our pleasures. Rated H from hell. So here are my vegan ghost meringues. Look how cute they are. They look exactly like meringues. Check this out. So the vegan ones were not as stiff as the egg whites, so they kind of melded a bit, and they also expanded and moved as they were baking. So that might have been because I didn't beat them long enough to get the stiff peaks. No more beatings. Or maybe that's just one of the things about vegan meringue. Aquafaba is definitely a little bit lighter. The egg white is glossier. You know, it's kind of got a shine to it that's a little bit different. The aquafaba has more of like a matte finish. I'm gonna put eyeballs on the vegan ones and then we'll do a taste test. Ta-da! Look at my little ghoulie ghosties. They're so cute. So here are the egg white ones and here are the vegan ones. So you can see the difference. But the ultimate is the taste test. So let's see how they did. Okay, I'm gonna try the egg white one first. So they're super sweet, definitely. Um, and it's nice and crunchy all the way through. So it's a nice meringue cookie. And now let's taste the vegan one. Mmm. Definitely a really different texture. These are the maple flavored ones, so they taste a little bit different. The texture is really different. Like, it's kind of like eating a really crispy styrofoam. You can see the difference of the texture. So this is the vegan one, here's the egg white. 
This vegan one, you can see like it kind of, there's definitely much more aeration in there. This one's kind of, there's a little more chew to it, becomes a little bit more marshmallowy, but see the difference about the insides? So my kind of grimace at this was more the maple flavor. The texture and the taste um, actually are pretty good. Like it doesn't have a whole lot of beanie flavor. I like it. Vegan aquafaba totally worked. Vegan meringue for the win. No, please no. I don't even taste good. So the vegan meringue took significantly longer to bake than the egg white versions. So the egg white versions I put into the oven for an hour and then, excuse me, we have a trick or treater at the door. watching this very special Halloween edition of Baking with Chickens and the Little Meringue Ghosts.